Hi guys! Today we are going to be doing a slightly different type of video, which I feel like Q&As back in the day were like all the rage on YouTube, but now I really only do them if there is a lot I have to say, or maybe a lot of confusion, a lot of clearing up of things. I just feel like everyone's very confused. So am I. I feel like everything in my life just changed very abruptly. Suddenly I'm long distance with my fiance. We're not traveling anymore. I moved back home with my parents and I know people have a lot of questions. And to be fully transparent, so do I. I like there's so much that's not known right now and I'm confused. I'm I'm just going along with the flow, but I really wanted to answer some of your guys' questions to hopefully clear things up because I was talking about certain things during Vlogmas, but I know not everyone could watch Vlogmas. It's just so much content in such a short period of time. So we're, we're going to do it. So obviously right now I'm sitting in my parents' house and Zach is in Dayton, Ohio, which is where he is from. And he left here a couple of days ago. A lot of people are wondering, why didn't I go with him? Like, are you guys about to break up? Are you guys not on good terms? Like, what's going on? Because it would make sense for us to stick together. You know, he visited my parents, and then we both go to Ohio. However, from the get-go, it was never the plan for me to go to Ohio with him right away because he and his family were supposed to go on a ski trip, which... I've never skied in my life, so I obviously, like, can't start in, my, oh, I didn't even say, it. it's in Montana. Like, I can't start on those big mountains. I would be open to giving it a try, but Zach always told me, like, I can never start in Montana. It'd just be too intense, and knowing me, it'd just be, it'd just be awful. So, it was going to be Zach's dad, Zach's mom, and Zach. But now it is just going to be Zach's dad and Zach's mom because Zach is just not doing well in the, like, health space. You guys know we've been talking about this for, what is it, seven, eight months now? Like, it's been so long that he suddenly just developed awful pains in his side. Not his stomach, by the way, it's his side. And it's just been a nightmare ever since where we can't figure out what's wrong with him. It happened originally after a very tough workout, the Murph, if you guys have heard of it, which Zach's in great shape. Like, that workout shouldn't have... I don't know. It, it just didn't make sense, but doctors have not been able to find anything. I mean, he's gotten all kinds of tests done. He's getting an MRI in a couple of weeks. Yes, weeks, because with the medical system, it's just a nightmare trying to schedule anything. It's just, we haven't been able to find anything. So it's been very frustrating. And this all happened right before we decided to travel. You guys know we made that big announcement saying, we're going to be traveling for up to a year. We're going to go to a new city each month. And we were excited. However, in that announcement video, that was just a couple of days after Zach started developing the pain. In that video, like, he was hurting. I didn't even realize how much he was hurting as we were filming, but after he told me. But obviously, naturally, he was just worried about, like, I need to find answers and traveling isn't conducive to having health problems and trying to get to the bottom of it because you're not with a doctor for that period of time. You're going to a new doctor each month. It just, it was a mess. It really was. And when we got to St. Petersburg, Florida, first of all, we fell in love. Like we were like, what the heck? We were not expecting to love it as much as we did. And we said, we could do a year here. Absolutely. But part of the decision to stop traveling, something we talked about so much off camera is Zach's health. It just wasn't getting better. And he's like, I need doctors. Like I just need to plant myself somewhere and just try to find answers. I mean, if you were in agony, would you want to be just like going all across the country? No. And I told him, I'm like, say no more. Like whatever, like, I don't know. I just, I knew we'd be happy no matter what. A year in St. Petersburg, Florida? Heck yes. So the plan was for us to obviously visit my parents as we have done and then settle down in St. Pete. So it's like, it was both of our ideas. Like I'm like, heck yes to St. Pete, but Part of the discussions of stopping traveling just had to do with health and it makes total sense so we toured apartments before we left so that if we saw an availability we at least knew like okay like this apartment has this amenities we were able to visit see the area all of that and then we can eventually try to go to st pete in february however zach's health his side have actually gotten worse than ever so we've kind of just been waiting he's going to be getting testing done and he's in ohio and that leads me to the question a lot of people are asking and a lot of people are like what the heck which by the way some people are saying like rude things in my comments you can go to one of my last videos i don't delete the comments but 
this video and this clarification is for all of the very sweet DMs I have gotten from people who are just like concerned, like, oh my gosh, are you okay? Are you guys, like, is your relationship okay? Like, why are you doing long distance? So the reason I all along was going to stay in New York is because my mom was supposed to get knee surgery Oh my gosh, I forget the date now, but it would have been coming up in a couple days. And I was going to be here to help her because obviously if you get knee surgery, it's hard to get around and my dad works all day. So the plan was for me to be here, help my mom. And then she ended up tearing her other knee. So the doctor canceled the surgery and said, you just can't walk for a month. Because obviously if you get surgery on the right knee and then your left knee is torn, you, like, how are you possibly going to get around? And when you get knee surgery, you have to try to walk a little bit to rehabilitate it. So it was just a mess. She's hopefully still going to get surgery. I don't know. I When did she, when was she put on like a bed rest, which she obviously hasn't been just like in a bed, but I think it was like a couple of weeks ago. So hopefully she will get surgery and it would be very convenient, very nice if I was here for that to help her. So we just, we just don't know when the surgery is. And then the ski trip got canceled for Zach where he's just going to be staying at his parents' house for now, obviously seeing those doctors in Dayton. And it's just like, it's a mess. It kind of is. And that's why when people are confused, I'm like, trust me, so am I. So we are definitely not going to be moving to St. Petersburg in February. It's just too soon. And we don't want to make any plans before Zach gets certain tests done. And we just want him to like, we just want him to figure out what's going on and what's happening and to get better. That might not happen. Like we, we just don't know. Like, we just don't know at all. So I'm just looking through comments. Why don't you stay with Zach's parents? Obviously, I was trying to still be in New York to help my mom with the surgery, but now it's kind of up in the air. I do want to go to Ohio though, not only to visit Zach's family and obviously to be with him, but also Neil, my brother lives uh, in Cincinnati, about 40 minutes from Zach's family. So I do want to go there. It's just all up in the air. And then Zach was saying, I should probably not just visit Ohio, but when I come to Ohio, it's like I'm in Ohio and from there we go to Florida. But the problem is like, we just don't have a set plan. And to be honest, I've been really enjoying my life here on Long Island, New York. I've been playing pickleball and I've been running into old friends I haven't seen in like a decade. Like it's been crazy just walking like out of the gym. It's like, what the heck? Like people still live here and it's just, I've, I've really been enjoying it. Like I've just been happy here. I mean, I text Zach all throughout the day. I mean, it's only been what, like four days from the time I'm filming this, obviously more for you. Cause I don't know when I'm uploading it, but I don't know. Life has been good. Being home has its challenges. It's just this house, for example, isn't my ideal filming setup. Like, I don't know if you can see, like the bedroom is just so dark, which it's just, it's the house. And New York is so gray right now with the weather. And overall, it's just been like really nice being home because I haven't been home in about a year. Last time I came home was January. Like it's crazy and finally I have like this unlimited time to be home which this is so rare such a unique opportunity just obviously when I was reporting I only got x amount of days off every year what was it like 10 I think and then obviously COVID screwed things up a bit so I'm just loving life like I'm in this unique scenario and I don't have all the answers right now but we're making it work we are we're long distance which is weird but we know it's not permanent like i feel like the key to long distance is like you have an end game we have our end game where we know okay we think like well, i guess i should say we think now because i feel like every time like i make a plan it just changes but we really want to go to st petersburg florida for a year that's the plan and it's nice having that end goal nicole asked where do you honestly think you will end up living slash having a family love your videos thank you so much nicole and Honestly, I don't know because do I see myself raising a family in Florida? Like not necessarily, but I'm not going to say no because I never thought I'd even want to live in Florida, period. Like I just, I don't know. Like I just heard things about Florida. I feel like Florida gets like a bad rap, but I don't know, but I don't want to make decisions in my life. Like, so like we can't be here because we're going to have a family. Like, you know what I mean? Like I just want to go with the flow, which is not my nature at all. To be clear, I'm as type A as they come, but who will make decisions as they come. Carrington asked, will you wait it out and stay in Cincinnati until the wedding is over? So our wedding is July 1st. And a part of me has thought like, oh wait, should we wait to get a place in St. Petersburg until after the wedding? But I just think that's way too, like July, like right now it's January, July, that's just a little too far away. And I, as much as I love being home in here, I really do thrive in a very independent, like, I need my own space. Like I, I love being here. I can't emphasize it enough, but I'm a little more of a neat freak. Like my parents, sometimes they just like leave wrappers on the counter and I cannot explain to you what that does to my brain. Like the only thing I can think of is that it's just like a type A personality thing. I remember growing up, 
it it just made me I just don't like it. I just don't like messes I just don't like any of that and granted like can I show you guys like I have my own little messes like look at this that's not that organized but it's it's like an organized mess I can't explain it and I'm being a hypocrite because it's it's not the neatest but little things definitely do bother me but I do think seeing a when my mom can get surgery will be a determining factor and then b Zach's tests to see if any doctors can figure out what is wrong with him. He's right now on medicine. He has been on medicine in the past for this though, so I'm not even feeling that hopeful about it. I'm just going to be very curious about the MRI that comes back and I just I wish he could have gotten in sooner but he can't. And also I don't think there should be any shame with still living with your parents because a few people who I run into recently are still living at home and who cares? That's a blessing if you have a family who wants you there and that you live with like who cares I mean don't get me wrong if you're sitting on your mom's couch and you don't have a job I think it's time to really do some things but who like this is such a unique wonderful opportunity you know I, I just everyone's on a different part of life for me I moved out three days after graduation to a whole different state and then now I'm back weird but I'm making it work. I also did get a lot of questions asking if we would still consider Charlotte. We love Charlotte. We do. We could we could move there tomorrow. We both said that, but we just liked Florida a little bit more, I guess. Like just going for a run on a December day or we were on a rooftop in December. Like how is that possible? And I know people are going to say like, but the summers suck. I get it. But I do think that New York winters, Ohio winters, whatever, are more debilitating than a Florida summer. I just do. I think the winters are longer. They're more depressing. Like when it's hot outside, okay, let's get inside. Let's get into the air conditioning or like, let's get under a pool, whatever, not under a pool, but like in the pool. <laughs> but when it's just gray and depressing outside, like I, my whole mood shifts. Like I cannot explain it. Like some people are just a little more affected by the seasons. And I guess I'm one of those people. Someone asked now that I'm in New York, would I consider doing reporting in New York? And the answer is no. I probably, I don't know if I ever see myself doing reporting again. I could see myself doing something maybe a little more fun, lighthearted, meaningful than just going to house fires and like things like that. Like it just, I'm not saying it's not meaningful for some people, but for me, I just didn't really get much out of it. And you know what I was thinking though? It was when I was running this morning. I don't know how I started thinking about this. I'll really just think about anything when I'm running to keep my mind off the fact that I'm running. But when I was younger, I would almost faint and almost like start sh well I was shaking but almost start like literally convulsing at the thought of public speaking it was the most nerve-wracking thing I could have possibly done and this goes from you know first and second grade all the way to college when I had public speaking in college not only just the public speaking class but if I had to do a presentation like I would be a wreck an absolute wreck I was so nervous but once I got into it, like I started feeling more comfortable and it was exhilarating. I like hated it. I was nervous, but I loved it. Like I secretly loved that thrill. And when I started reporting, oh my gosh, it was like tenfold the nerves. Like I was so nervous, but it made it so exhilarating. Like every day was a new like, oh my gosh, I'm so scared. And I remember, I don't know who said it. It was some sort of performer who said every single time he or she gets on the stage, there are nerves. Like that person is nervous. I really can't remember if it was a man or woman, but that's what keeps it so thrilling and that's why each and every night they love it you know they love coming back to do it because they have that thrill and they said if I didn't have that thrill I wouldn't love it and with reporting I started noticing like there was no thrill or anticipation or nerves it was literally like I would be doing something like vlogging or like a whole nother a, a reporting assignment and then I'd hear 30 seconds and then I'd hop out of my news car and do my report. Granted, in my opinion, I think I nailed it. Like I, I did as good as I could have done, but there just was no like anticipation. It just, it was just so like almost second nature to me where I missed the thrill. So if I were to do something, I'm not saying every day I have to be nervous. That's not what I'm saying, but I want to do something where every day, like I'm at least passionate about it because I would have stories, don't get me wrong, where I'm like, this is good. Like I really like what we're doing but it'd be a dime a dozen, you know what I mean? It'd be one every 20, 50, you know? Because every single day you're turning something. Someone asked if money wasn't a factor, where would I live? And the answer is St. Petersburg. I feel like part of the reason we haven't really been pulling the trigger is because of the prices. It is insane, and I'm not used to that because obviously I grew up here on Long Island, New York, which is like the most expensive place ever. It's so expensive here. But I was little, I was young, like I didn't know home prices. I don't know how much our house costs. So really for my entire adult life, I've lived in very inexpensive places, Dayton, Ohio, Cincinnati. And then suddenly 
I'm in St. Petersburg and I'm like, wait, this is how much places cost? Like what? So it's just like, it's a rude awakening and it's hard for me to swallow paying this money. But I keep thinking I have the same mindset that I did in 2017 when I got my first reporting job. I was making $40,000 and now I'm making more than that. Yeah, I have the same mindset. Like I still can't spend more than X amount of money, but it doesn't make sense because my salary has increased. You know what I mean? Like I don't, I, it's just so hard for me to wrap my head around, but like a part of me is like, come on, Clance, it's going to be fun. Like, why the heck not? Let's do it. Like you have the money to do it. But another part of me is like, but this is ridiculous. So I don't know. I don't know which part's gonna win. I really don't. You're gonna watch it all unfold. Stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed because life's a little crazy lately, but in a good way, you know? We, we gotta spice it up. I, I always say like, life's more interesting when you have all these crazy changes and things are happening because one day things will be a lot more stagnant. We're like, I have my house. I have like, you know what I mean? Like everything figured out. And I almost feel like that'll be boring. So at least, at least life's interesting, but if you guys made it this far, I seriously appreciate it so much. I appreciate all of the kind comments I've gotten, and the reason I even made this video is because of the kind comments, because there have been negative comments. There certainly have been, but there are people who are just genuinely confused, and I don't blame you, because so am I, but I'm going to go. I love you guys so much, and I'll be back in a few days with our regularly scheduled programming, aka a nice little vlog. Bye.